Hello and welcome to MBKM Models. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more great aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Avro York was like its Lancaster and Lincoln stablemates, a versatile aircraft. One of the prototypes, LV-633, Ascalon was custom built as the personal transport and flying conference room for Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Ascalon was to be fitted with a special pressurised egg so that VIP passengers could be carried without their having to use an oxygen mask. Made of aluminium alloy, the enclosure had eight perspex windows to reduce claustrophobia. It also had a telephone, an instrument panel, drinking facilities and an ashtray with room for cigars, a thermos flask, newspapers and books. Testing at RAE Farnborough found the egg to work satisfactorily. Avro said it was too busy with the new Lancaster. Avro Lincoln worked so it was never installed in Ascalon. It was considered for installation in the successor aircraft, a Douglas Douglas C-54B, but the contractor Armstrong Whitworth decided it was impractical and the project was shelved. The whereabouts of Churchill's egg is not known. MW-140 Endeavour flew to Australia in 1945 to become the personal aircraft of the Duke of Gloucester, Australia's Governor General. It was operated by the Governor General's flight from 1945 to 1947. It was the Royal Australian Air Force's only York. Another York MW-102 was fitted out as a flying office for the use of the Viceroy of India and C&C Southeast Asia Command, Lord Mountbatten. During its first major overhaul by Avro at Manchester Ringway in 1945, the aircraft was repainted a light duck green, a shade intended to cool down the aeroplane, instead of its former normal camouflage colour scheme. South African leader Jan Smuts also used York as his professional transport. Air Chief Marshal Sir Trafford Lee Mallory was killed on the 4th 14th of November 1944 while flying to his new posting in Ceylon to take command of Allied air operations in the Pacific when York MW126 struck a ridge in the French Alps in a blizzard 30 miles south of Grenoble in France. His wife Dora and eight air crew also died. The wreckage was found by a villager in June 1945. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.